One bad juror gets herself and two others kicked off the Aurora Theater shooting trial. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger was in court today. And Marshall, you saw the reaction of the jury when they came back into court after the trio was dismissed. And Eric, it was this juror who sits in seat 16 who looked devastated throughout the afternoon portion of court. I was in court after lunch when all but these three jurors returned with the rest of the jury. And even though the judge assured this juror that she did the right thing by writing him a note alerting him to a problem with these three other jurors. She still appeared to be bothered throughout the rest of the testimony today. Well, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? We'll see after this. Okay. That's the voice of juror 673. She told the judge juror 872 made statements around her and two other jurors during a break on Tuesday about a mistrial and the district attorney George Brockler had tweeted yes. during court. I just feel really bad. But no, you should you should not feel bad at all. You've done nothing wrong. The judge questioned each juror individually. Watch the reaction from Brockler when juror 872 talks about a phone call she took with her husband on speakerphone in front of those other jurors. What did he say to you about Twitter? Well, he asked me if I knew who the uh, the lawyer was, and I said no. Why? And he was like, well. That idiot's tweeting on Facebook. She admitted telling the other jurors what her husband told her, and that led to this. Ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and excuse you at this time. Ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and excuse you at this time. Ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and excuse you at this time. The judge dismissed three jurors. Juror 872, who took the phone call, was clearly upset as the judge advised her not to talk to other jurors or the media. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. From day one, the judge has been clear about what jurors can and cannot do. Our legal analysts are not surprised by his dismissals. Nothing is more important than maintaining the concept that the only evidence the jury hears is from the witness stand and not from the media, not from social media, and not from husbands. Today was day 28 of the trial. None of the jurors who sit in the box know which 12 will actually deliberate when all of the testimony is done and which 12 were alternates. So we really don't know if these three were ever going to be deliberating the fate of the defendant. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Later in the afternoon, the jurors who weren't dismissed saw the weapons used in the shooting and how they were used. Take a listen. Now, shotgun shells... The firearms experts with uh, CBI showed how to use all the guns the defendant had on him during the shooting. His entire testimony and more of what you may have missed in court today is on our 7 News app.